Hey everyone, welcome to this radio channel. So, uh, I'm uh, testing out tonight um, for the second uh, time um, SDR console. I've uh, actually uh, been able to have SDR console work with uh, the uh, Ophedri. Uh, it's interesting because on Windows 7 I've not been able when I actually start SDR console it just doesn't see the Ophedri SDR and that had prevented me from actually using the software but um, the other night I was uh, playing around with my Windows 10 Insider machine which is that machine that is running on that screen right now and um, I don't know came to a thought of uh, hey I want to have my SDR working so but I didn't want to have HD SDR. I thought, well, I'll install something else, you know, maybe SDR Sharp or whatever works with the uh, Fedri. And as the R console came to mind again, I thought, well, I'm going to give it another shot and try to have it working. And funny because on Windows 7, it doesn't see the, 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 the SDR. But on Windows 10, it immediately saw that there was a Fedri SDR on the network and everything was just cool. So I've uh, actually uh, set it up. So right now it's on the WWCR 6115 with uh, Alex. So this is uh, WWCR with Alex uh, Jones. And so I'm uh, checking out. I um, have um, playing around with the controls and trying to figure out how different things work. But uh, it's kind of a nice, uh, a nice software to use. I uh, just need to, you know, get used to the controls, of course, because it's something that uh, I've been uh, having a lot of difficulty because I'm not used to this uh, software for uh, at all. So, of course, I'm going to continue playing around and uh, checking out, you know, what I'm going to do. So, here's a radio teletype and, you know, it's just uh, playing, having fun, simply having fun playing around with uh, the software and uh, let's try uh, 5450 I don't know if I'll get uh, this out of curiosity yeah it's right there you can see it on this the, the peak so this is Royal Air Force in the UK so pretty cool doesn't take very much CPU I see here the CPU load is uh, usually always below 20% and very often even below 10 and uh, works great um, I've the only thing I will be changing is because right now I'm plugged into my 2 gigahertz uh, network because this computer doesn't have a more modern uh, 5g connection so I will uh, add a dongle to the laptop um, with which will give me 5 gigahertz and thus give me also much more speed on the connection so I can actually have a more stable um, signal because right now it cuts from time to time and I think it's the lack of data from the fact that it doesn't it's not fast enough to give me that 1 megahertz wide uh, spectrum on uh, 2.4 but apart from that, you know, playing around, checking out the different menus and trying to, um, you know, some, I've, I've had a few of you guys telling me that uh, um, once I get used to this, I will never want to go back to whatever, uh, you know, HD, SDR, or whatever. Um, well, I'm not convinced yet, but I, of course, am giving it a try. We'll be checking that out. And, um, of course, you know, uh, learning the controls and adapting the situation. I, um, right now I can't really you know say anything because I'm still not used to uh, the software enough to really give an opinion but I will talk about it and we will give my opinion of uh, this uh, this um, software for sure so uh, continuing tonight my little tests of the uh, Afedri SDR and uh, the SDR console version 3 software on uh, Windows 10 computer if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.